All right, here we go. Face on love. Welcome back to Vlad TV. <laughs> back on the block. <laughs> back on the block. I mean, you know why you're here right now. You know why you're here. I mean, I, there's a, I mean it's a lot that happened. I mean, I'm, I think you're going to ask me about um, the Oscar thing, right? I'm going to get to that. Okay. But I got to start with the elephant in the room. I got to start with the elephant in the room. Oh, the new song, Pusha T featuring Jay-Z, Neck and Wrist. Right. So I actually called you up that morning. Yeah. I called you up. I said, yo, did you hear the, the Jay-Z verse where he was he was talking about you? And you're like, now nah, what did he say? Yeah. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and say the verse. So so Jay-Z said, the phase I'm on love, I wouldn't believe it either. I'd be like Jay-Z's a cheater. I wouldn't listen to reason either. Yeah, I I remember when you told me, and I was like, and I, I didn't understand it at first. Like, what is he? I said, no, he's saying. F I didn't get it at first because it's some rap thing, and it's not clear. But then clearly, about fade Jay Z's pissing fades on. <laughs> oh, man, what you gonna do, Jay Z? Just said something bad. <laughs> so what? Jay-Z's Jay career is over. His career is over. Jay-Z Jay just coming back to you, man, career. what you going to do? Like, first of all, I'm not a rapper. Right. I have no bars at all. I can only play other nigga songs. <laughs> but um, then I listened to it. I said it, it was kind of, he didn't really diss me. No. It was on some like cool shit. I was calling it like, Tennis. <laughs> it's like, you know, you know, back at you, love. We all love. It's all love now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, like, it's love. So it's like, uh, but he wanted to say, you know, I think I ruffled some feathers. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is reference to a few of our interviews where you basically said that you never felt that Jay-Z was the drug lord that he depicted himself to yes. be in his various I raps. stand by that. When Jay-Z creates this whole drug dealer, drug lord, I'm a drug dealer, I'm a drug lord. These kids, and they, that's, we got to do it too, to be like Jay-Z. Not knowing that this is all made up shit. Jay, Jay was involved no, in, no, hold on, hold no, on, hold on, no, hold on, hold no, on. No, 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 I interviewed D. Haven, who was his drug dealing partner. Right. No, no, not partner. He was the drug dealer. And Jay was with him. Jay was looking, eating chips. <laughs> how, do you, how do you do that? Oh, D. Haven. D. Haven knows the truth. Right. Yes. And he clearly And, <laughs> you know, if you break down what he says, he says, the phase I'm on, love, phase on love, I wouldn't believe it either, reference to what you said, I'd be like, Jay-Z's a cheater, I wouldn't listen to Reason either. And that last line is kind of cool, because basically Reason has like a double meaning of, I wouldn't listen to Reason, but he's also saying, I wouldn't listen to Reasonable Doubt. Since you don't believe any and stuff I, I'm and saying, that's the album I like. I don't understand. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? That's the shit I, I fuck with. That that can I live song. I mean, that's the shit I fuck with. I, I was, you know, I remember when Pac was talking about fucking this nigga, and then the album came out. I was bumping that in, in LA heavily. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, Whoa. but then it's the other stuff that didn't make sense. The I I. Lost 92 bricks. I had to fall back. I had to, I, would it knock me off my feet? If that's, what does it say? Uh, okay, so so in that song, you're talking about Never Change. Yeah. He, and Jay-Z raps, lost 92 bricks, had to fall back, knocked uh, N-word off his feet, but I crawled back, had A1 credit, got more crack. From the first to the fifth, gave it all back. If I'm not a hustler, what do you call that? This is before rap. I call this that illusion. fact. I call that illusion. I call that imaginary. Because <laughs> first of all, he says, there's only two birds with bricks, right? Bricks mm -hmm. is cocaine. Yeah. Cocaine and, and, and crack is different. Did you know that? Yes, I know that. <laughs> so where's, 
So he said he had to buy more crack. What, 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 what? You said you lost the bricks. You see what I'm saying? Did he say right. he got someone, someone who's buying, yeah, someone who's buying 92 bricks is not part of the crack game anymore. He he's pushing weight to other people. Right. Like, he's not. Know, he's not actually cooking up 92 I'm bricks. Not cooking cocaine. <laughs> right. I'm not cooking crack. I'm not doing it. Come pick this shit up and beat it. So that's why right. I was like, oh, that's not right, sir. Well, I actually did a little more research, and he did a concert. Jay-Z did a concert in Webster Hall. It was like the B-Sides concert, where he kind of went through a whole bunch of like less popular songs and so forth. And he started a freestyle at one point. He said, me and my team was playing the plug ahead of plan. Sometimes we was only making a thousand a joint. That ain't no money. That's, but that ain't the main point. So those ninety two bricks was only ninety two thou. See, I'll close your mouth. It ain't for y'all to wild. What? So he was saying he's making a thousand. He's basically so he's referencing those ninety two bricks again, but he's only saying that he only made a thousand off each brick. How is that possible? <laughs> that's a very low profit margin by the way. from what I understand if, if from everyone I've interviewed if you're getting them on consignment if you, it's 80 y'all on one brick you know, what, what do you mean it's, it's like you know okay, okay if it's 80 y'all on one brick 90 y'all on one brick you guys are all piecing it up then ain't 92 of yours right I guess what he's saying is if he's buying them for 17 He's selling them for 16 and only making a thousand. Yeah. Now, now I just want to point out the 92 bricks is around one and a half million dollars. <laughs> Back to, in that era, Back, yes. In that era, around yeah. right, I mean, if you're talking about 17,000 a brick, around around 1.5 million, give or take, you know. If you're on a the bit eastern shore, that's what you get them for around. They up in the twenties, they you know, they they're they're up there. Yeah. But, yeah, they're up there. But if you're in San Diego, it's a little cheaper. Uh, yeah, ninety-two, ninety-two. Oh, they be smiling with you. They'll build a tunnel for you. <laughs> <laughs> the bricks came with their own tunnel. <laughs> they will, they will, they will I made cake like funnels. There you go, yo. The, it just comes together. It just comes together on its own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm actually kind of proud of myself for that one. Hey, okay. I got, I got go. some bars here. <laughs> <laughs> the bricks came with their own tunnel. I got cake like funnels. <laughs> I'm making cake like cunk funnel. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> 